What's good, YouTube? Yeah, 192 here, back again once again. Tape here today. We have an update video of sorts for you guys. Well, no, it's not of sorts. It's an update video exactly for you guys. Um, uh, this is coming because we did finish our main LP, being Pokemon X Winterlock. And of course, you guys know I've been doing these update videos every time we finish the main LP since the channel has begun. I say this in every single update video. It's like a pit stop. It's a way for me to stop and dump out all the thoughts in my head. You know, I'm OCD, so I'm thinking about everything all the time, every which way, every angle every project that I'm working on so I'm just gonna dump them all out in this video and your guys' feedback and response it's like an it's like an open uh what's what's the what's the um what's the term not open book it's a uh, open forum or, or whatever you want to open open but whatever the fuck it's called you know it's 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 basically a direct one-on-one -on -one session between myself and you guys because I say this all the time this is not just my channel this is our channel so your guys' feedback, your guys' ideas, your guys' reaction, your response means more to me than you guys understand. More to me than you realize. You know, if, if you hear me say in the video, you know, make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed and you think, oh, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. Yeah, it does. It does. Like, little things like that are direct communication to me and you on a daily basis outside of Twitter, outside of the comment section, outside of everything else. You know, just little things like that are how you guys can communicate to me and let me know what I'm doing is right or if it's wrong or yada 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 yada. But like I said, this update video is for us to talk directly. So we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. We're, it's probably going to be like a 20-30 minute video. But we're going to talk about a lot of stuff and like I said, leave your guys' feedback on everything below because a lot has gone down and a lot is going to go down. So I'm excited. Let's get into it. First things first, we smashed 150,000 subscribers. We actually hit that while I was away last week in the SGC in Dallas, and I gotta say, thank you. Oh my God! It seems like a month ago we did our 100k Omega meetup, and I got to meet so many of you guys. And now here we are at 155,239 subscribers, exactly as I'm recording this. That is insane. That is insane. I say this all the time. If you would have ever asked me. If I would have had a channel this successful, based off of just Pokemon, I would have laughed in your face and said, no way. But you guys have latched on, you enjoy my personality, you want to support the content, and that is the most humbling, and like, it is the most humbling, most appreciative thing that could ever happen. You know, a lot of people say YouTube's a waste of time, you know, you're, it's, it's not worth it, but just the, the small experience, the little things, the day-to-day -day things like that, when you really sit back and think about it, it means a lot. That means a lot. So thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we're going to do a 150,000 subscriber celebration. Um, I decided what I was going to do, instead of like you know, waiting like a week and a half like we did before to vote for what we're going to do, um, this Wednesday I'm going to upload a setup video because as you guys notice, I'm not in the same setup that I normally am. Some of you guys, I just thought I went and like moved into a new apartment or some shit. Like, no. All that happened basically was I got a new bed. You guys can see the bed behind me. You can see like my old, uh, old dusty keyboard and shit over there. It's, I'm still in the process of cleaning everything up and resituating and whatnot. But you guys can see I got a new bed. Old bed used to run this way in the room. Now the bed is too big to do that. I, my, my chair won't fit, so it runs this way in the room. So it, because I did that, I had to take my entire setup and basically shift it over, which is a pain in the ass, unplugging a goddamn computer and everything else just to just move it over. You know, it's, it's so aggravating and so annoying. But yeah, I'm in the same place. Just before you guys had a view facing this way, you can see my closet and everything. And now you guys are just seeing the view this way, where you can see behind me with the window and everything. So it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not anywhere new. But the 150K celebration, like I said, is going to be a setup video. You guys are going to get this see what I see on a daily basis, how I create all the content that we do between Lumio Station, our main channel, and now our brand new second channel and everything, which I'll get to that in a minute if you guys didn't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, that'll be up on Wednesday. Um, this week is kind of sort of going to be, I don't want to say it's filler, because it's not like the content's any worse or anything like that, but we don't have a main LP going on right now. We just have Blaze Black 2, Volt White 2, um, which to me has always been a side project because it's only uploaded three times a week, you know? Um... So yeah, so yeah, so yeah, because we don't have anything going this week, uh, my, my plan is to start our new projects next week, a week from today. Um, so this week, we just got a lot of stuff going on, but next week is when everything will pick up once again. So yeah, so 150k celebration uh, will be our setup video coming this Wednesday. I hope you guys are hyped and you're looking forward to that. Um, speaking of our new channel, yesterday, if you did not catch the new channel announcement video, we did in fact launch a brand new channel is a secondary channel, the link to it will be in the description, it is youtube.com slash nappy the great. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to play and share with my, share with you guys my experience of playing other games outside of Pokemon. 
And everybody always wants to say, you know, oh my god, you, 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 why don't you just upload it to your main channel? No! Somebody left a comment on the video yesterday saying, saying that, uh, that would be like shooting myself in the foot. You know, like I said, we've, we've, we, together we've amassed 155,000 subscribers that are here for Pokemon. They're not here for Skyrim, they're not here for Dungeon Defenders, they're not here for Hotline Miami, they're not here for Left 4 Dead 2. They're here for Pokemon. So it makes no sense for me to try and force feed that content down your throats. So the idea is, I'm going to have this other channel, this other place, where if you're interested in that content, it's here. You don't have to subscribe, you don't have to go over there, if you're not interested in any of that, you don't have to do it. You know, it's there if you want to watch it. So like I said, if you guys missed that announcement trailer or anything, Check the description, link is there, go sub it up, show your support, we got three uploads a day going up over there. Three uploads a day going up over there. Um, it's one of those things where I'm just having fun with it. You know, like your guys' support means just as much to me over there as it does over here, but like let's say a video doesn't hit a like goal over there, or a series is slipping and whatnot. You know, I'm not just going to cancel a series, you know, just because it's slipping over there, because literally that channel is just an outlet for even more fun. Because I already have enough fun with King Navi. You know, I get to have an outlet of Pokemon and all that stuff. And my love for Pokemon. You guys know I love Pokemon. That's just another place, another outlet for all of that. And like I said, if you guys want to share that with me, go down that adventure with me, go down that journey with me, by all means, head over there. Sub it up. We launched a brand new Left 4 Dead 2 LP. Face cam included with the Raptor Pack being Sacred Fire Negro, the Hidemo Num Nexus. That's over there. We launched a brand new Skyrim LP yesterday. That's a daily Skyrim LP. A matter of fact, Skyrim and Left 4 Dead 2 go up daily on that channel over there. Um, Dungeon Defenders 2, not Dungeon Defenders 2, Dungeon Defenders, <laughs> Dungeon Defenders Comma 2, um, as well went up with uh, Shady Penguin, the Hidemo, and Vegas Jamie. Um, today, brand new LP Hotline Miami with face cam starts as well. Um, I said yesterday I wasn't sure what my upload schedule for that channel is going to be. I think it's going to be Skyrim and Left 4 Dead 2 daily, and then every other day you'll get Dungeon Defenders and Hotline Miami. So like Sunday's Dungeon Defenders, Monday's Hotline Miami, Tuesday's Dungeon Defenders, Wednesday's Hotline Miami. You know, it's just going to go back and forth like that while the other two series remain daily. And um, I'm not going to start any other LPs on that channel until we wrap up one of them, at least. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do good out over there. So like I said, if you guys are interested in that, go check it out. It's additional content. My main focus is still our channel and Lumio Station. Like I said, that's just extra. That's all it is. It's just extra. But it doesn't mean it's gonna be like any worse quality or anything like that. You guys know I'm committed to giving you the best quality that I possibly can. So I'm gonna stop rambling about it. Go check it out if you want. Sew it up if you want. Drop a like on the videos if you want. You know, show your support if you can, because you already know it is greatly appreciated. So yeah. So we had our 150k celebration, our new channel out of the way. Um, I mentioned SGC. I went and visited SGC um, this past. What was it? This past weekend? No, it was a week ago. A week ago, I went to SGC, and that was a blast. It was a ton of fun. You guys saw the uh, panel that I was on, that I was invited to be on, talking about in the mind of a YouTuber. Um, you saw the the haul video that I put up, talking about the souvenirs and purchases with the uh, sealed Pokemon yellow case, which is amazing. I love that thing. Um, but yeah, it, it's a lot of fun to go to conventions like that because honestly, the most important part and and the the most uh, impressionable part of the event that's what I was looking for <laughs> that's what I was looking for is the fact that I actually got to meet some of you guys there and you guys know who you are I remember you I remember all of you guys and it's it's so great because it's like we did the 100k Omega meetup and that's one thing but to actually go there and be able to physically meet and see some of you guys that's insane that is insane there was one guy that it was it was tweeting at me on Twitter that morning and he was like, I'm coming to SGC today Nappy I'm gonna see you I was like all right and me and Nate came downstairs um, heading towards our autograph signing or some shit all of a sudden this dude tackles like two people to run towards me he's like oh my god Nappy it's Nappy I'm just like what the hell calm down man <laughs> you know calm down so it was it was amazing it was a blast um, but events like SGC so far, the only other events I have planned for the foreseeable future, of course, in a couple weeks, there's PAX Prime. I will be attending PAX Prime. Shady Penguin will be there. Nate Wants to Battle will be there. Um, Pedro from our recent Free For All series will be there. Great Bulbasaurus. PK Sparks will be there. So we'll be there hanging out, having a lot of fun. So if you guys are going to PAX Prime, even if it's just for one day out of the four days that the event's going on, if you're going on, tweet at us that weekend, let us know, we can meet up, we can do the damn thing, take pictures, sign autographs, do whatever y'all want, well, within reason, calm down, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, we can, it's, it's, it's amazing to meet you guys, don't ever, if you're, if we're ever at an event like that, don't ever hesitate to come up and talk to us, don't ever hesitate, if you recognize us, even in the street, if you recognize, well, I don't want to speak for all them, but if you recognize me at an event, or on, in the street, or whatever, you just see me, don't ever hesitate to come up and talk to me, and say, hey, Nappy, 
what the fuck is up, Nappy? <laughs> yeah, so don't ever hesitate because it's always a pleasure. It's always awesome meeting you guys. But like I said, I'm heading to PAX Prime at the end of August. Then um, the newly announced PAX South next January, I'll be attending as well. Now, if anything pops up in between now and then, I'm not entirely sure if I'll be able to plan on a trip for that or not, but we'll see. We shall see. If anything pops up, of course, I'll let you guys know whether it's through the channel or through Twitter or whatever. But PAX Prime I'm heading to, PAX South I'm heading to. I know a lot of people are going to PAX South. A ton of people are going to PAX South. But we'll talk about all that the closer it gets to it. Um, so, yeah. So, that's all the little miscellaneous odds and ends stuff that's going on. So, let's talk about what we've... Um, finished on the channel so far, and what's still ongoing on the channel so far. Um, there's top five, which honestly, I've, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I've never had a series run as long as top five has. You guys have come out and shown your support week after week after week, even when we took the small break when Pokemon X and Y came out, because I think we took like a four or five week break when X and Y came out, and we just uploaded our Pokemon YLP daily. And we took a little break from uh, Top 5, but we came back with it, and for over a year, Top 5 has been here. I've never held a series that long. And you guys have come out week after week after week, and it's only gotten more and more successful. And that's all because of you guys! That's all because of you guys! Of course, we didn't have an episode this past weekend, um, but again, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you see I got a brand new bed. That actually came Thursday night. I spent Thursday night putting that shit together. Like I, like I said, I had to unhook my computer. I didn't even get a chance to do anything. That's why there was no Blaze Black Volt White 2 this past Friday. So, top five in and of itself. There's, I don't see an end in sight right now. I'm gonna keep it going as long as you guys are enjoying it. Cause that's honestly, that's, that's the reason that we make the content. It's the reason we make the content we do. I'm sure I can speak for a majority of content creators on YouTube. The reason that we do what we do is for you guys. That direct interaction, the fact that you guys are enjoying, you're hyped, you're, you're, you're anxious to see the new content. We do it for you. We do it for you. So, <sighs> top five. Easily, when the what I'd say when it comes to longevity and and duration of how long the series has been going, easily the most successful series that we've ever had on the channel. That's insane. The amount of support and love that you guys show top five is amazing. Um, we're currently in season four. Like I said, there's no signs of us stopping anytime soon. I don't plan to stop it anytime soon. Um, and we're just gonna keep going with it. So top five is still top five. Free for alls. This has become a brand new beast on the channel that I honestly did not expect because for the longest time, Wi-Fi really has not been perceived very well on the channel. You know, just the notion of me doing like a serious Wi-Fi battle, I don't know, maybe it's just because of my personality or because I just don't know shit about Wi-Fi <laughs> or because, you know, I'm just more of an LPer and I have more of an LPer audience on the channel or what, but for whatever reason this free-for-all series that I just intended to be just like a little side project you know just upload two or three times a week has exploded rapidly exploded we're 24 episodes in now and you guys love it you absolutely love it and I don't know if it's just the interaction with uh, my friends you know the other commentators that we have on there I don't know if it's just the notion of free-for-alls I don't know what it is but you guys absolutely love it you enjoy it um, I like the idea that we have of sessions where we sit down and record sessions and we can upload them all in a row and I think the next upcoming session which is going to start tomorrow is our seventh session which means you guys will get to vote for the participants of the 8th session. Like I said, you guys don't need to worry about counting numbers and all that shit for which session we're on. I'll take care of that. I'll let you guys know when it's time for us to vote again. But still, like I said, it's just exploded. You guys have shown so much support. And like I, I've said this before, I feel like a broken record. i said this so many times. When you guys come out, when you support the video, when you leave comments, when you drop likes, when you do all that stuff, that lets me know that what I'm doing is right. And you guys have done that with Top 5 and with the Free For All series. So again, free for alls just like top five are not going anywhere anytime soon. Definitely not going anywhere anytime soon. A lot of you guys like to leave suggestions for people that you like to see on a free for all series, or uh, ask if I'm gonna add subscribers to free for all series. I feel like one of the elements and I just mentioned this too. One of the elements that makes the free for all series what it is is the fact that it's everyone that's on there knows each other. We're all friends. We all talk to each other on a daily basis. So I'm not gonna go out and grab somebody that I don't talk to or invite somebody that I'm not. I don't have like chemistry with I really that's the best word to use for it. it's that chemistry that we all have together so I'm not gonna just invite random ass people so sometimes there might be duplicates I can't promise you that every single session is gonna be somebody brand new so I don't know, I don't know we'll see uh, I'm just gonna keep the series going as long as you guys come out and you show that support you let me know that what we're doing is the right thing we'll keep it going 
So just like top five, it doesn't. I don't plan on ending it anytime soon. But thank you guys for your support on that. Like I said, I did not expect that at all coming out of that series. I just expected to be this little side thing because Wi-Fi has never really been a thing on the channel. So I wasn't expecting much from it. Um, speaking of Wi-Fi, though, a lot of people have been asking me about it. Surprisingly enough, I don't know if it's because of the Free For All series or what, but a lot of people have been asking me about Wi-Fi. When am I bringing it back? When am I going to do this? I think I'm going to hold off on Wi-Fi, really, until Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I think when that comes back, I might attempt to launch Wi-Fi battles on the channel again. Um, I'll probably just end up doing live Wi-Fi battles. Um, just because, like, even if even if you guys don't enjoy them, whatever, it's not like I sat there and put hours upon hours upon hours of editing and time into this stuff for it to just flop. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't mind putting hours and hours of editing into something that's gonna uh, benefit the channel really, really well. But I don't want to do I don't want to allocate all that time into a series that isn't gonna benefit us the best way as possible. When I could rather allocate that time to something else that will. See what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Um, the live summer LPs. <laughs> uh, I expect it to be a lot farther than we are with it now. Um, we got the Victory Fire stream done, and that was rocky the entire time because either Blaze Black 2, Volt Y2 wouldn't render properly, and I couldn't get it up in time. Um, Kristen ended up moving. She was doing a whole bunch of stuff. We just, just certain days we couldn't uh, live stream. Just a whole bunch of stuff was going down with that. Um, the next stream, the next stream LP is supposed to be Resolute, the sequel to Victory Fire, and it's supposed to be with PK Sparks and Kristen. We're still trying to coordinate a time to go ahead and launch that. I'm just, just we're like, we're like on the cusp of it right now. We just gotta sit down and get a complete time. I just dropped the cap to my pen. We just gotta sit down and get a complete time where we're all together and we can launch it, and that'll be good. I've been having a little bit of internet issues again, which annoy the fuck out of me. I think I'm going to try and get a separate internet line and have it hardwired, like Ethernet cable to the computer, so that there's there's no sort of lag issues at all, because that's really just so fucking annoying. It's so annoying from a content creator's perspective when you're trying to stream something, when you're trying to put content out, and it's just lagging, and you're dropping frames the entire time. Like, you guys are aggravated by it, trying to watch it. It's even more aggravating for me, because it's like I lose credibility as like a live streamer. Or as a content producer, period, content creator, if all my content that I put out is just shitty. You know what I mean? So, I, it's it's just really, really aggravating. I gotta work out a few kinks for it. We still fully intend to do Resolute. Um, like, I don't, I don't think you guys understood. Like, I plan to have those live stream series, like, a main part of the channel this summer. And it's just not panning out the way I expected it to. I expected to have Victory Fire done. That we were actually gonna move on to Pokemon My Ass version with David, Sensational GP. But he's got uh, summer school, so he can't attend the streams at the scheduled times. And then we're going to move on to PK, and now all this stuff is coming up. So I'm still trying. I'm working my ass off trying to get these live LPs up and running for you guys. Um, but just just be patient with me. Be patient. Because people keep asking me, like, when are they going to start? When are they going to start? Are they supposed to start this Monday? Are they supposed to start that Monday? Just be patient with me. We're going to get the ball rolling as quickly as we can. But speaking of live streams... Let's talk about Wonder Trade Wednesday, another series that has exploded onto the scene and performed so much better than I ever thought that it would have. Um, Wonder Trade Wednesday, again, just like the Free For All series, is just supposed to be this little side series over here on the side that we just do once a week, wasn't supposed to be that big of a deal, and then slowly but surely, just it started to rapidly gain. It was just that snowball that keeps rolling and rolling and rolling, and every week, more and more people show up, and now we're to the point where we can go live with just the music that plays in the beginning, and there's 1,500 people in the live stream, which is insane, and then by the time we finish the first row of Pokemon that we're trading that week, there's 3,000 people in the live stream. And it just grows every single week. We hit new like goals. We hit new viewer goals every single week, which is mind blowing because all we're doing is just wonder trading. And it's like I think it's I think it's the idea that um, like if we're serving as like a central point, and there's so many people that's gravitated around it that um, other people can show up and still like, instead of necessarily just wonder trading with me that week, they can wonder trade with everybody else in the stream because so many people are wonder trading all at once. All my monitors just went off right now. <laughs> they all just blacked out. Um, instead of just wonder trading, you know, not having a lot of people to wonder trade with, everyone's there. Everyone's wonder trading away power at that hour and a half on that Wednesday. So people still end up getting really, really good Pokemon, even though they may not have gotten one of the 30 Pokemon that I'm wonder trading off that week. You know what I mean? And the reason I know that is because for that hour that we're wonder trading, that's when we hit goals and shit. And then we do the wonder cup battle at the end, and like 500 people will leave. They're like, oh, Wonder Trading's done. I don't give a fuck about the battle. I'm gone. 
know what I'm saying? So it's it's cool, it's nice, I enjoy it. For whatever reason that you guys come out to Warner Trade Wednesday, I enjoy it. Um, I definitely don't intend on stopping that anytime soon because there's we could literally do 719 weeks, however many Pokemon there are on the Pokedex, if we really wanted to, if we wanted to break that um, base evolution rule that we do. Because, like, for example, we did the 4th of July stream, which... Don't even remind me about that. That pissed me off to a whole other level, but that's that's neither here nor there. Um, instead of one to trade away Braviary, one to trade away Rufflets. That's the base evolution rule. We trade away the base evolution of the Pokemon. Or like this week, I had an Altaria. That was our ace in our battle last week. That's how we vote. You know, we, we both choose aces and allow the chat to vote on it. Um, and that turn, in turn becomes a Pokemon one to trade away next week. Um, I had an Altaria, and Altaria won the vote. So in turn, we're one to trade away Swablu's this week. You know, that's how it works. But... Uh, Wonder Trade Wednesday is just quickly snowballed into something that's insane and crazy, and other YouTubers, other PokeTubers are coming out for it. Everyone is coming out for it, so thank you all so much for your support on that. That's that's insane. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. So all that stuff is still just ongoing. It's not it's not changing anytime soon. Now let's get into the LPs. Blaze Black 2, Volt White 2 is still ongoing. We only had one episode last week, um, because on Tuesday, and the episode that goes up today, there's going to be an episode today, the episode that goes up today, I actually explained this, but this past Tuesday, Callum had some construction going on in his house, his electricity was out for a couple hours, we didn't get the chance to record, even if we did, his electricity was out, he wouldn't have the chance to send me the files, or edit, or do anything, so that's why there was no episode on Wednesday. Then, like I said, Thursday night, I got this bed, that's why I didn't have top 5 on Thursday, or... Black, Blaze Black 2, Vote White 2 on Friday because, like I said, we had to move the entire setup. I had to move everything from here to here. I was offline for like four or five hours. We didn't get a chance to record, didn't get a chance to edit, didn't get a chance to do all that, which sucks. It fucking sucks. Missing two out of three uh, uploads for a week. It really, really sucks. So it's back this week. Don't worry. Like I said, we explained it all again in, in, in today's episode. It'll go up later today on my channel. So it'll be on my channel to this week on Monday and Friday and Callum's channel on Wednesday. So don't worry about it, don't stress about it, it's not over, it's not done with, it's just here. Um, when it comes to Blaze Black 2, Volt Y2 though, uh, it was kind of sort of a controversial call. Um, I knew what we were doing, I knew the risks that I was taking when I invited Calum onto the project. Because, I mean, if you think about it, Blaze Black 2 is the sequel to the most successful project that we've done on our channel. You know, in terms of like, like ratings and, and feedback and whatnot, because Blaze Black, the Blaze Black LP period, just went ham everybody enjoyed that all of you guys watching myself recording it we all enjoyed it so it, it was crazy successful when it comes to LPs on the channel it's easily the most successful LP so there's a lot of pressure for yourself as a content creator when you come back and the, the notion the idea of okay here's the sequel to it everyone's expecting to be just as good if not better and you know I thought well let's add Callum you know, Callum is another great PokeTuber. We have good chemistry. A lot of people enjoy it when we work together. So let's add Callum and see how that happens. You know, if one screen's not good enough, let's try two. You know what I'm saying? You know, just to see, just to see an attempt to make it better. And a lot of you guys voiced your opinion that you were upset that Callum was added to the LP. You know, you were excited to just see me and have just my commentary and just go in with this. A lot of you guys are actually really, really rude towards Callum, which I don't understand. I don't understand this internet an uh, anonymity. You know, you just feel like you can type and say whatever you want in the comment section, and you know, it's just, oh, you're just voicing your opinion, you can do whatever you want, like, no, like, I, I don't know, I couldn't do that, I have a conscience, you know, I can't just destroy somebody in the comment section and feel okay about it, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, um, but like I said, I knew, I understood the risk, you know, that idea that some people might not be happy with Callum being a part of the project, I understood that, when we decided to do that, and we decided to do this, like, back in January, like, after we finished Blaze Black, that's how long this project's been in the making. So, I understood the risks, I knew what was going to happen, I knew some people weren't going to be happy with it, but overall, it's done well, you guys enjoy it, um, especially for an LP that bounces back and forth, like the way it does between the two channels, um, a lot of you guys weren't happy with that either, but still, it worked out in the end, and we're almost done with it, to be honest, we're heading towards our 7th gym badge out of 8, and after that's just the Elite Four, some Team Plasma stuff, so, Probably by the time we do the next update video, that series will be wrapped up and done. We'll be moving on to the next thing. So, thank you guys for your support on that. I'm going to say thank you a million times in this video. I already said it a million fucking times. But, thank you guys for your support on that. Thank you guys for those of you that stuck around and weren't so disgusted that Callum was added to the project. It's just like, it's not even that big of a deal. It's not even that big of a deal. Like, nothing is going to change about it. I'm still going to be me. I'm not going to change because Callum is there. I'm still going to be me. I'm still going to act the way I am. I'm still going to commentate the way I do. I don't know why everyone's upset about it. So, it is what it is. 
Um, when it comes to Lumio Station and Ash Gray, let's talk about that. Ash Gray, um, episode 19 went up this past week, or actually went up yesterday. Links that will be in the description if you guys missed it. You can check it out. Um, it blows me away how supportive you guys are on over on Lumio Station because it's one thing to be supportive here on our channel, but to ask you guys to go somewhere else and support content there, you know, whether it's our second channel or Lumio Station, whatever. It's it's amazing, and I can I can say it for everybody at Lumio Station. It's amazing when we see our videos do well over there because that's like all of us. That's our group project together, and we all want to like contribute and and make sure that the channel succeeds that way. You know, we don't want the the weight of the channel all on one person. All of us want to share the weight equally. We want to be that community. See what I'm saying? So it, it's it's amazing, and I, I really really appreciate it when you guys go over there and help support that LP over there as well. Um, it's week. It should have been week 20. But I missed it last week because I went to SGC. <laughs> but we episode 19 went up uh, this week, and I don't know what the fuck I was on. I just recorded a crazy ass episode, but it, it was good. Um, but Ash Ash Gray is gonna continue over there, and once Ash Gray finishes, the X and Y co-op with Kristen is going to come back. So we have to wait till Ash Gray is done, and then we're gonna come back to that. So hopefully it doesn't take us too long to wrap up Ash Gray. Uh, we, I think we make decent progress with it each week. Um, but Kristen's currently over there. She's doing the uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire update videos with PK uh, every couple Sundays whenever new information comes out. She's over there handling that as well. She's trying to get back into her channel. Like I said, she just got done moving. So a lot of stuff has been happening at IRL that doesn't allow our schedules to really match up all too well. Um, but the XMI co-op is not done on Lumino Station by any means. We're still in fully intend to finish it. Uh, we just got to finish Ash Gray and a couple other projects first. Because Ash Gray was there to replace the XMI co-op. That's really where, why Ash Grab became a thing. So everyone expects us to just do both at the same time. It's like, no, let us let us finish one thing first before we move on to the other. So there you go. Um, and then the last thing I guess we can talk about on our own channel that's going on right now is Poke Crate. We should actually have another Poke Crate here in a couple of days. Um, but you guys have latched onto that as well, and you've enjoyed that. Um, my my mindset behind that was I had a subscriber send it to me on Twitter. I looked into it and I was like, oh, this is neat. You know, I could do a, a Poke Crate unboxing video like um, other YouTubers do Loot Crate and whatnot. Um, except this is all Pokemon items, so this this would be sick as fuck. And my thought process was, well, uh, even if people don't like it, you know, it's still a series that goes up once a month. You know, it's not asking too much of people. You know, it's just once a month. And at the end of the day, I get some Pokemon goodies out of it. I'm a huge Pokemon fan, so what could go wrong? And upload the Pokecrate videos. We've done two so far. You guys have loved the fuck out of them. That's amazing. It makes me feel all warm and bubbly and all that good lovey dovey. I bullshit on the inside. You put this big old smile on my face. And um, we should have another Pokecrate video hopefully sometime this week. I got the email saying that uh, the next one has been shipped or the order's been processed or whatever. So hopefully that'll be up sometime soon. Um, yeah, it would honestly be great if it comes up this week, because like I said, we don't have an LP going on this week so far. So it'll be nice if it if it'll if it'll uh, drop by this week and we can keep that uh, going. Like I said, you guys enjoy the fuck out of it. It's amazing. I love it. 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 But that pretty much wraps up everything that we have going on currently on the channel. So let's talk about the future of the channel. What's up next? And I'm sure this is the part that a lot of you guys are looking forward to hearing a lot of you guys have sat through all that other bullshit that you're like oh my god nappy already know about that why the fuck you keep talking about that this is the part everyone wants to hear so pokemon x is done our x wonder lock is done x why didn't, even, I didn't even speak about the x wonder lock what the fuck x wonder lock was the fucking tits you guys dude, again you came out and destroyed the support on that i'd say that's that's probably like my third favorite solo lp that we do on the channel Favorite being Blaze Black, second favorite being Sacred Gold, and the next Wonderlock. You guys came out and destroyed the support on that. I had so much fun doing that. I, I feel like I waited just long enough before taking on 6th Gen again. You know, it wasn't too long. You know, it hasn't been a full year since we did the YLP, but at the same time, it's like it's been just long enough so that people have kind of forgotten how it feels to play through 6th Gen. So, you know, again, you guys came out, you showed your support on that. That was amazing. That was awesome. Thank you all so much for that. That was just, that was just fucking bananas. That was just fucking bananas. Oh, and then Liquid Crystal 2. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna waste time with Liquid Crystal. <laughs> you guys know all about that as it is. But yeah, X Wonder Lock was great. Um, but like I said, we need to replace it. And the question is, what are we gonna replace it with? We gotta replace Liquid Crystal as well. So there's a lot of different options that we can go down the path here with. There, um, we can't do sixth gen because we just did sixth gen. We're doing fifth gen currently. Uh, we can't do third gen because I've got some plans for that. And plus, we did the Emerald um, Randomizer Nuzlocke a couple months back. 
Um, and plus third gen we're gonna see everywhere here in a couple months when Oris drops. I hate saying Oris. So Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire drops. Can't do second gen because you just finished Liquid Crystal. And first gen, again, we got some plans for that coming up here soon as well. So what is the only generation that we have not touched in basically a year? Fourth gen. Um, I've only done one proper fourth gen LP, not including Sacred Gold, because that's technically second gen, just the fourth gen update updates to it. Um, but I've only done a Pokemon Platinum Egglock. That was actually our first Egglock that we did um, about a year ago. I'm not going to spoil it for any of you guys, but it's been a while since we've done 4th Gen. So, my question to you guys is, do you want us to do another Egglock of Pokemon Platinum? Or should we do a Randomizer Nuzlocke? That's where you guys come in. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys would rather see. An Egglock or a Randomizer Nuzlocke of it. And if it's an Egglock, then we'll have a semi eggs video up this Friday. It'll probably be open for the weekend and close Sunday night. And episode 1 will be up a week from today on Monday. If it's a Randomized Nuzlocke, then you won't see a semi eggs video on Friday. And episode 1 will be up next Monday. You know? So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Which one you rather see? Like, legit, which one would you rather see? Which one would you rather be more interested in doing? I know we're currently doing the Egglock, the Blaze Black 2, Volt White 2 co-op Egglock. But if you guys want to see a Pokemon Platinum Egglock, I'm down. I'm down. I'm hyped to play through Platinum again. It's been, like I said, it's been a year since we played through 4th Gen. So then that would be our daily series Monday through Friday. Like I said, we replace X Warlock. That'd be the tits. I'd, I'd love to do that. Now, there's also another series that I told you guys that we'd be doing this summer. And it's a series that you guys have been begging and begging and begging and begging and begging, even while its predecessor was going on this past spring. You guys have been asking and asking and asking me to do it. And that's Pokemon Gale of Darkness. Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, to be politically correct. Pinky up. Um, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. I've never played it before. I've played Coliseum before. I love Coliseum. I think it's a great game. So I, I have no reservations about playing Gale of Darkness. Um, a lot of you guys didn't really gravitate towards Coliseum. It kind of performed the same way that Liquid Crystal did. Uh, I'm not sure, really sure why that is. Maybe it's just because it was third gen. Maybe it's just because the graphics in the game. I'm not 100% sure as to why that was. But the entire time people were asking, play Gale of Darkness, play Gale of Darkness, play Gale of Darkness. Well, I gotta fucking finish Coliseum first. Shit! <laughs> you know? And again, it was the same situation with Blaze Black, where I don't want to dive into the very next game directly after it. I told you guys, towards the end of the summer, we start Gale of Darkness, and we will. We are going to start the Gale of Darkness. Um, it'll probably start up next Tuesday, per se, because Platinum will start up on... Platinum will start up on Monday, and Gale of Darkness will be on Tuesday. Gale of Darkness will be uh, the kind of series, it's kind of like Blaze Black 2, Volt White 2. It's kind of just going to be there a couple times a week. Um, like I said, Platinum is going to be our main focus on the channel, and then we have Blaze Black 2, Volt Y2, and then Yellow Darkness just as side series on the channel. So, yeah. I lost my train of thought there for a second. I don't remember what I was going to say. But yeah, Yellow Darkness will be here. Um, it'll probably end up being uh, uh, emulated on the PC again. Now I got this new powerful PC. I don't have to worry about the little lag spikes that we had in Coliseum. Fun fact for you guys, some of you guys caught into this as well. Um, anytime that I have a lag spike in Coliseum, it was more so for audio reasons than visual reasons. Like, the visual portion of it really didn't get affected, but the audio would be, like, super duper fucking choppy. So what I would do is, like, during the battles and shit, I would cut out the background track and, like, go look up the, the battle music on YouTube and put it in the background. And it was almost flawless. The only thing I was missing was the move animation the sound effects. Now, I kid you not, somebody made a comment in the comment section saying, Why is there no battle animation sounds? Like, fuck! It's basically flawless. That's the only thing that's missing, but somebody's just got to point it out. <sighs> so anyways, we shouldn't have any issues with that now that we have our amazing PC, which you guys will see in Wednesday's uh, setup video for 150k. Um, but yeah, we should be good to go. I'm not too worried about it. Um, but yeah, next week, Platinum and Gale of Darkness will begin. Those will be our next LPs on the channel. Blaze by 2, Volt by 2 is going to continue the way it is with um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday split between Callum and our channel. Callum, yeah, Callum and Hours channel. That, that sound, why, why does that sound weird? Callum and Hours. Callum and Hours. Callum and Hours. Is that, is that proper English? Callum and Hour. No, there's no S. Callum and Hour channel. Is that right? I don't know. It is what it is. 
Um, but yeah, besides that, really the only other thing that uh, that is floating around is Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and the updates and the Mega Evolution speculation videos we do for them. Um, I'm kind of on edge about the Mega Evolution spec uh, speculation videos um, just because, I've said this before, I really, really like doing factual video. I don't like uploading stuff that's not confirmed, stuff that's not true and whatnot. Um, but every once in a while, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. You guys enjoy the Mega Evolution speculation videos. I enjoy exploring that notion of what if as well. So I guess we're going to keep doing them. I think we're going to have one up tomorrow. Uh, I think I tweeted out a couple days ago which one would you rather see and you guys voted for Mega Cacturn. So Mega Cacturn will be up tomorrow. Um, but really besides that, every other Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire update on the channel will be or will have some shred of truth to it. That's I, I like having that standard on my channel. I like having that, that credibility. That what I upload in, in terms of a Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire is legit. It's not just some pathetic ploy to get you guys to come look. You know what I mean? You know, I, I don't know. I, I won't get into all of that. But um, when it comes to Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire itself, absolutely, I intend on playing it. I'm not sure if I want to do our first LP as a Nuzlocke. I kind of sort of just want to. I don't want. I want to have that restriction. I just want to play through the game and just have fun. You know, experience it and just have fun. Um, but we'll see. 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 Um, but yeah, Omega Green Alpha Sapphire, definitely going to hit it up day one. Alpha Sapphire will be the game that I'm playing through first. I'm going to get both games, but Alpha Sapphire will be the game that I'm playing uh, through first. So, November 12th or whenever it is, whenever the, whenever the games drop, you'll see a Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, either LP or Nuzlocke from the King Nappy right here on the channel. So, besides that, you guys, I think that pretty much wraps up everything that I have to think about. I don't think I'm missing anything. I'm probably I probably am missing something that it's what always ends up happening. And somebody leaves a comment in the comment section. I'm just like fuck. I forgot to talk about that. But I don't know. I don't even know how long this video has been going for. If you guys enjoyed, oh, we're almost to the 40 minute mark. God damn. <laughs> if you guys have watched it all the way through this far so far, leave the word purple in the comment section. I do that anytime we do long videos. But leave the word purple in the comment section so I know. And uh, smash the hell out that like button for us if you are hyped. For what's to come if you're a hype for platinum if you're a hype for uh omega ruby alpha sapphire if you're a hype for gala darkness let us know in the comment section below let us know well no smash the like button if you're hyped for that let us know in the comment section below two different train of thoughts thoughts th fuck this video has been too long <laughs> two different uh, train of thoughts getting crossed um but let us know in the comment section below which one you guys want to see for platinum either being an egg lock or being a randomizer nuzlocke and whatever you guys decide, I guess you'll find out on Friday. If Egglock wins, then we'll have a semi-ex video up on Friday. If it doesn't win, then episode one of a randomizer Nuzlocke will go up next Monday. Either way, new LPs begin next week. Check out the new secondary channel if you guys haven't. Nappy the Great it is linked in the description. New LPs, new non-Pokemon LPs going on over there. Even some of your other favorite Pokemon YouTubers over there. Like I said, Shady, Nexus, Nick, Mo, Jamie. Everybody's over there. We're doing shit. We got stuff planned over there. Even for Poke Doers that aren't even involved. Even for for my friends that we don't even have yet. Even people that don't even necessarily do Pokemon or be involved over there. Check out Ash Gray over there. We just have so much going on. I told you guys at the beginning of summer, the summer was gonna be intense. It was gonna be crazy. We were gonna put in work this summer. We we're gonna grind. We we're gonna grind. We we're gonna grind. And I've had so much fun the entire way. And thank you all for taking this journey with me. Thank you all so much. With that being said, though, like I said, smash the like button for me if you're hyped for what's to come. Summer's not done yet. Summer's not done yet. So, like I said, smash the like button for us if you haven't already. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You don't mean to that point, I need to. Uh, I'm out.